Welcome to the Thomas Star Academy Math in this class. In today's class, we shall be looking at trigonometric identities. Trigonometric identities. What are the trigonometric identities we have? So we shall be looking at how to derive the basic one that we have. So let us look at this. Um, this is our triangle. So a triangle. Um, we have um, this is our horizontal axis. This is our vertical axis. Yeah, it is denoted by y. Yeah, it is by x. So along this side, so of course, along this side, so our side. Okay, so if we take this to our unit circle, this side, we want. Now, by applying Pythagoras theorem on the triangle above we have this is this is hypotenuse so by Pythagoras theorem it means the hypotenuse side which is here one square equal to the square of this side plus the square of this side so you have this So that means what we have here now is let's say we write it sine square. Let's say the angle. Um, let's say we have the angle theta here in the angle. So here we have sine square theta plus cos square theta equals one. These are basic identity that we have. Doing. The first one we have basic identity. So we have sine square theta plus cos square theta equals one. That is the first thing we are going to have. Okay? So from here again, we can do other things. We are going to get our different identities from this first one we have gotten. From this identity we have there, which is sine square theta plus square theta equals to one, we can get our different identities here. So this is the basic one. This is the basic one. Let's put it here. Basic identity. Okay. Now I said, I said this. That before we do that, we need, we need to look at some of the identity, some identities that we also have. Now this is, this is, um, cos here. Let's say we put let's say cos theta here. Let's put theta here. Now from our Sokatoa. It means sine here is opposite by hypotenuse. This is our cosine is adjacent by hypotenuse. This tangent opposite of adjacent. Okay? Now, if you look at what we have on the board here, any, any side that is facing an angle is opposite. This is opposite here. This is also here is adjacent. This is opposite. So our tan theta is opposite over adjacent. That is two. We have that opposite over adjacent. We have sine theta over cos theta. We can also have our um cos theta equals to cos theta over sin theta. It means the opposite of this one is inverse of tan theta is cos theta. Can have this. Where cos is um, 
Let's put it here. Where God is cotangent, cotangent. Now, we have this. And also, we can say our sec theta is 1 over cos theta. And our cosec theta equals to 1 over sin theta. That is, sec means second, and uh, cosec means cosecant. Cosecant. That's fine. Now let's let's put this other bit. Let's say equation one. So from equation one now, divide all through by sine square theta. It means let's come back to equation here. Sine square theta plus <clears throat> cos square theta equals one. Divide all through by sine square theta. Sine square theta over sine square theta over sine square theta. We have got it to be sine the way it says. When I said okay, we should divide all two by sine square theta. It means that this over this will give us one. This is cos, cos square theta over sine square theta. And I go back to what I gave to you here. I says cos square theta over sine square is a what is cos theta. So it can be here to be cos square theta equals to. Then if you look at what I've given to you here, I said one over sine theta is what is what is cos square theta. That means here will be cos square theta. It is square because one over sine square theta. This one is one over sine square theta. So this place is, it is cos square theta because we have one over sine square theta here. Because if you look at this one, it's one over sine theta cos theta. But when we have square here, then it becomes cos square theta. That is our equation two. So we have second one. And then the third one is from the equation one again, from equation one, which is sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to one. We divide all through by by cos so cos square theta. We're going to divide all through by cos square theta. So we have sine square theta plus cos square theta equals one over cos square theta over cos square theta over cos square theta. So here. Yeah, now, I said this is sine square theta over cos square theta. And if you go back to this place, sine theta over cos theta is tan theta. So here it becomes tan square theta plus, when you cancel this, here 1 equals 2. Then I have this, 1 over cos theta here is what? Is sec theta. So here is 1 over cos square theta, so it becomes sec square theta. You should tell you. So we have this. So we have sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. We have 1 plus cos square theta equals to cos square theta here. Yeah. Also, we have tan square theta plus 1 equals to cos square theta. So, we can still manipulate all these things when we want to solve questions on this because we might be asked to prove the identity. So, we might, we might be given any question that they want you to prove identity, which we are going to make use of all these identities that we have here. And as we proceed in the course of, in the course of this um, class, we are going to look at different identities again that we are going to use. But these are the basic identities that we have if you want to solve any question on the trigonometric identity. So if you have not subscribed to my video, please let me do so. Let me like my videos and let me share my links. Thank you. Because we